What is up you guys, it's your boy Visual Waste and after a long time off YouTube, I'm back with another paint unboxing video and in a brand new studio. So, as always, my paint is provided by Graph City. They're always on time and they always deliver and they always have the colors I need. So, let's get to this. Now, I think this is roughly around 250 quid's worth of paint. And a couple of other things have completely run out of gloves there in the back, so I had to get myself some latex gloves. All right. So, wow, that's crazy stuff here. It's not a bad. Okay, I can see there's some paint lying loose. Uh, a lot of this paint order is going to be Montana Black. I've just lately been using a lot more Montana Black. Uh, don't know why, I just feel that slightly better output for if you're in a hurry. So they, them two uh, were Hope and Patina. Very nice colours, they're very sort of in there with that nappy, nappies I think it is in the Montana Black. And then we've got a bamboo. So. I had been using a bit of bamboo, that's actually a green, but it's very, very, very light. You can see there. So, uh, oh, there's some more hiding in here. Got some Bloody Marys. Some of that nice, sort of deep looking red. Another Bloody Mary there. Okay. So, we'll maybe get into this first one here. All right, so it's a bit more of the green stuff. I really like these khaki greens, working with them. So we've got some hemp. It's a nice sort of diluted green with a wee bit of sort of yellow in it. And then residue, a couple of them. Uh, a bit more residue and a bit more of that hemp green. So I've noticed there them first few didn't come with a stock cap. I wonder what they are. See these ones that were in loose, obviously they don't want them uh, spilling out like. But no, they do have the wee stoppers in them, so I don't know why they've done that. That's two, four, six, six capsules on me guys. They should be in here somewhere. Alright, we've got some of the Ebony powder free nitrate ones. I get them in size large. Big hands. You can see these gloves are Slightly better than your average kind of nitrate glove. So you can see they've got a texture coating on them, so it's got a bit more grip when you're using them. Very good gloves, I'd highly recommend these gloves if you're using cans and you want to get a good grip on them while you're spraying. Okay, we got another one here. This one's a bit dodgy looking, taped up a few times. So I ordered this paint about three days ago and it's here already. That's the kind of delivery that they do over in Graff City. So there's a wee bit of that cardinal, it's a very deep red. So I've kind of stocked up on some of the primary colours here in this one. Another cardinal and another code red. And then we've got some really deep greens because I have a lot of green there you can see in the background but I don't have a lot of these sort of base layer uh, storm and and uh, what was the other one? The Resident, we didn't have enough of that either. The commission I'm painting for this uh, set of paints that I'll be using them in is uh, it's mostly sort of like leaves and trees and things like that. So it's all nice earthy colors. That's a lovely color there, pan. Um, that's some toad, yeah, it's a nice green there as well, a nice matte green, you can see they're quite close together there, these two, that'll be a nice step in them. So that's, in my past videos, if you watch any of my other unboxing videos, I always recommend that when you're buying a colour to get a few steps in it, so that you can do nice kind of gradient stuff, so there's code red. Bloody Mary and Cardinal, that would get you a nice kind of, uh, a nice fade or something that you were looking to do with the colours. Okay, another one. Again, 
more of these primary colors. Yes, the same mess, I really like them. Hazel, so I had, I had some of the, and some of the dirty, dirty apricot and uh, nugget. I think that would fit in with them pretty nice. It's a nice kind of nice orangey sort of yellowy color. I've got a bit of topaz. It's like a dark yellow. A melon yellow. So you can see the way I'm uh, purchasing the paints is in the three steps. Um, so if I'm ever painting anything that has a bit of blue or a bit of red in it, I can get that nice kind of gradient range in them. So there's royal blue, light blue, and then a very, very light baby blue. So the three steps there in the, in the colors. It's, there's no point really in buying just one of each color, I don't think. I think you should really get the steps in each one. Um, just to produce some nice work. It gives your work the edge, I think, and it gives it that nice kind of tonal quality that you're looking for in, in murals and stuff. So these are all black. I think I've got about 20 cans of black in this one, so this might all just be black and white. Let's see. Black and then a wee bit of gambetta. So it's a very off white, it's like a chalky white. I really like using that instead of using just plain white. Then more black, more black and more gambetta. Okay, we have two more boxes here. Let's see what they're at. Yep, that's all the snow white. So it's a really, really gradient white. Snow white is a very, very sort of, um, there's no going past. You know, we can't do anything on top of it that'll that'll look good. White is the kind of the end color you can go with the snow white, I think. Um, let's see anything else here. Alright. So there we go. Do you remember I said they were missing a few of the stock caps to pop them in there for us? Thank you very much. Graph City. We got some of these Lost Islands, which is a, just a different type of green again. I really like these greens for if you're doing scenery or foliage or trees or anything. I think these would be very, very nice in a piece. So that is all of it. As I said, everything I order is from Graph City. They're always on time. They always deliver. They always have a very good selection in paints. Um, what I'll do is down below, I'll pop a link to them. It's an affiliate link. So if you go through there and buy anything, I get a little bit of commission and help support the channel. So it'd be greatly appreciated if you've done that. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a like if you want to see more 2021 unboxing videos.